welcome back ladies and gentlemen to my playthrough of Final Fantasy 7. This is your host coach Rude with Rude Gaming 33 and this is going to be part 28 in this playthrough. In part 27 we went through the cave of the G and now we're going to head westward to the town of Nibelheim. So let's get up on out of here. So yeah, Red 13, or sorry, Nanaki, is going to be our strongest character at this point now because of the fact that he has the... How the hell do I get up on out of here? Ah, there we go. Yeah, per se, did not like enjoy fighting those, but yeah, we're getting out of here now.
And this is going to be Nibbleheim. So yeah, things are going to start getting a little bit more interesting. Yeah, so you're going to figure out a little bit of something about the story and everyone will say that none of the atrocities have ever happened. We're gonna get an elixir. Answer here. was Cloud's house. We get the turbo ether. Now we're going to go upstairs. Oh. Come on. Stinking controls. There we go. Talk to you. Get the Platinum Fist, which is going to be a weapon for Tifa. And Nothing we can do on the piano just yet. Cloaked man upstairs is going to have a luck source. Decently healed, so now we're gonna go northward towards the Shinra Mansion. But first, talk to these people in the capes and let's head on inside. So, it's gonna be a piece of paper on our left to the floor. And we're gonna go to the third one. So this is for 
an enemy within this. Oh, there's a fourth dial. Alright, sorry about that. So actually, there's another one, another clue. So, right 97. So we're gonna go north upstairs. Sorry, north, then left, and behind the piano. I'm just going to be left 10. We're gonna get the twin viper. And we're gonna return back to the main hall. So we're gonna go into this doorway right here. First of battle.
And inside there was a silver M phone. So now that we got that, we're gonna go upstairs now. And at the top of the fork, we're gonna go right to the first enemy, and hopefully we can encounter the enemy called the Jersey. I believe this is it. Nope. Jersey enemy, or if we come across it, we want to get it because of the fact that it has a enemy skill that we want. So we're going to go north and get a magic source. There we go, so we get uh, right 59. So we're gonna go back. Let Nanaki get all the kills. Now I'm going to start prepping a little bit for what's going to happen next. So, okay, so you got poison, which is great. And how much else? We just need you guys to get your... Damn, lemon breaks up. So we're going to head to the left. Right here is going to be a enemy launcher. So right 36. So from here, there's going to be a chest here which is going to contain those different uh, codes that we were accessing was for this lock and safe right here so all those numbers are meant for this specific lock and one moment so we're gonna still open safe and we're gonna do it so remember it's right 36 left 10 right 59 right 97 so right 36 left 10 We failed. Okay, so cannot pass it. So right 36. Left 10. Right 59. And right 97. So 
so we're gonna have the lost number boss. So this is going to have 7,000 HP, 300 MP, so we're going to be able to beat it, though. And we're going to need Nanaki to use Bio on it. We're just trying to take this out as fast as possible. And yeah, I kind of screwed up just now. But, because we're supposed to hit him with all physical attacks when he's in this red stage. So 2000 EXP, 80 AP, but we're going to get the Cosmo Memory, which is Red 13's final um, limit break. So we're going to get the key to the basement and then the Odin Materia. So now we're going to go back, and then we're going to head downstairs. Just kill him. There we go. And now we're going to enter this part right here. Climb all the way down. And but first another battle.
first battle I'm gonna run from a long, long time, so... I just wanna continue on with the story. And get my, probably my favorite character in all the, the whole damn game. So with that key to the base, we're gonna be able to do this. So we're examining the coffin. Talk about Sephiroth. This is the option we want. So we're going to examine the coffin again, and then we're going to choose the Who Are You option. And this is going to be Vincent. Vincent Valentine. That name is going to be important later on, Lucretia. So we're going to leave the room, and then head towards the stairs. Good, so now we get... Vincent into our party and sorry Barrett you're gone fortunately it has to come down to that but Vincent is much better off than Barrett uh, exchange Barrett's with Vincent as you can see Vincent's already at level 27 with uh, Cloud so now we're gonna head on into the a battle before we head into the library. Use if it real quick.
we're going to go towards the back of the library. So we're going to get the destruct materia. So this, this is going to be the importance of a scene later on. So now we're going to continue going back. And we're going to leave this place for good. Well, for the time being, actually. Jeez, all these battles, I just want to go and get out of here. Wait, oh good, this is what I want. Hopefully I can manipulate one of them. This is where we're going to get the uh, question mark, question mark, question mark, enemy skill materia. Or enemy skill from. Goodness, just give me what I want. Ah, oh, it has to be attacked, maybe? Okay, I'm just gonna finish this damn thing. I'll just get the freaking enemy skill material later, so we're just gonna exit out of the Shinra Mansion. And then we're gonna head out 
Actually, we're going to go to the end first. Oop, wrong one. Heal, and then we're going to head on out. Head to the northeast. And before we enter Mount Nibble, uh, this will conclude part 28 of my Final Fantasy 7 playthrough. This is your host, Coach Rude, with Rude Gaming 33, and I will see you guys next time on part 29. See you guys then.